Diver, TC, comm check. Diver copies. I copy. Please let me know when you are ready to begin testing. Copy that. We are ready to begin. All right. Um, the first thing that I'm going to have you do is please identify a medium-sized hole with almost a zero um, degree angle. That is not angled. Copy that. I think hole number three would be our best. All right. Um, I'm going to have you select the blue and mod sealer from your lockbox. All right, I have received the uh, the blue device. Can you please confirm for me that the toggle bolt at the end is in the closed position? The toggle bolt is fully closed. Copy that. Please line up the device with the hole you selected. Go ahead and push that device gently in to insert the toggle bolt. So I am aligned with with hole three, and uh, it seems that the clamps on the, on the device will not go all the way through this particular hole. All right, um, please remove the device. Device removed. Please select the largest hole. All right, I will, uh, I will go for hole number four, which is right here. Copy that. All right, inserting device. Toggle into the hole. Continue pushing until the device deploys. The device is not deployed yet. The toggle device is fully deployed. Okay. Go ahead and pull back gently, not enough to unlock from the ball lock, and start ratcheting that device or tightening oh. it clockwise. Copy that. Can you please describe any difficulties you are having? Uh, I'm not sure if it's actually ratcheting. Is it? Just rotate clockwise. Rotating clockwise? Correct. About how many turns should I rotate clockwise? You will continue to rotate until the line on the top has stopped moving. So do you see the colored line on the dome of the sealer, the aluminum dome? Copy that. From my angle, you still have a ways to go. Copy that. Can you describe how difficult the device is to turn? So, uh, while turning the device counterclockwise without ratcheting, uh, it is not difficult with my gloves. Um, but knowing the EMU gloves don't really have much, um, uh, it's not really, uh, you can't do this motion with much ease. So, while I am having, uh, fairly, while I think it's fairly easy, I think that uh, the EMU gloves 
I would in a full suit would be a bit difficult. Do you have enough tension at this point to begin ratcheting the device? Negative. Okay, continue proceeding with turning clockwise. Is the line on the top of the dome still moving, still rotating? Yes, that's correct. Since you're getting closer, once it stops rotating and you're, sh and you're sure that it stopped rotating, you're going to twist a full 720 degrees after that line stops. Copy that. At this moment, it is not moving. However, I have enough tension to begin ratcheting. Correct. Um, if you are able to measure the degrees while ratcheting, go ahead and do that. If you do not feel comfortable doing that, then go ahead and continue to twist it. Please twist it 720 degrees or two full rotations. Rotations. Right. At this point, please disconnect the applicator from the M mods. Copy that. Now, please check the security of the sealer. Feel free to try and move it around a little bit. See if it feels tight enough. It is fairly tight, and uh, they are pressure testing, and I see no bubbles. That's great. Right? So we're actually going to leave that in there. We are not going to remove it quite yet because we have several other devices we'd like to test. So please um, get the green uh, mod out of the lockbox, please. Copy that. Can you confirm for me that the toggle bolt on this device is in the locked position? The toggle bolt is in the locked position. All right, we're going to go ahead and try that first hole that we did, the medium-sized hole. Copy that. All right, we're going for hole number one. Okay, I think we are in. All right, we lost our visual on the back side of the platform, so we are unable to tell you if the tool has been fully deployed. Does it feel as though the tool has been fully deployed? Yes, it is. Yes, it does. All right, go ahead and begin turning that down. Like I said, applying a small amount of back pressure on that without pulling the tool from the sealer. Copy that. While you're doing that, can you please just give us some feedback? Um, you mentioned how easy it was to turn. Any suggestions on what we could do to improve that, whether it's length of the handle? So, uh, yes. Yeah, so I would say, um, the so the ratcheting idea is, is a great idea. Um, however, I understand it won't work without um, for this device without much tension on it. Um, so if we are going to be turning it, I would suggest uh, uh, larger uh, handholds um, so that the gloves don't have to, so I don't have to really squeeze my hands around it much. So I would be wider and longer uh, handholds for that. 
um, so that I don't have uh, the, the opportunity for the tool to slip out of my hands if, if they were longer. Copy that. Uh, the tether point itself is great. I haven't had any issues with entanglements um, on the on the tool itself. Copy that. How is the weight of the tool? Is it too heavy? Is it strenuous to use? The tool is not heavy and not strenuous to use. Copy that. Do you think it would be easier if there was a palm wheel on the back of the ratchet to turn that device? Um, a palm wheel, I think that would be nice. Um, however, I think that even if you had those longer handholds, I think that you could do that much easier. Uh, the palm wheel uh, would be nice, but I think uh, as far as if it was out here, this might be a little bit more difficult uh, than, than having those handholds out here. Are you getting close to this device being fully sealed? I'm sorry, repeat the last. How close are you are to completing the ceiling of this device is it is it getting close to the point where it has stopped turning the line uh no i have a, a probably a few more turns to go Do you think that the application might be better with a pistol grip or pneumatic tool instead of using a ratcheting device? Copy that. I think a uh, pistol grip uh, attachment, if this could be used one manually and two also with a pistol grip tool um, to be able to drive it in, I think that would be uh, uh, much easier. Thank you. All right, for the green device, we have come to a stop. I will do uh, two full rotations. Copy that. All right. There's one. There's two. All right, please detach the T-Ratchet from the sealer. T-Ratchet detached. And go ahead and try and jostle that device, see if it's loose, see if you can loosen it. The device is not loose. All right, please apply some air behind that. We're ready to do that. I'm sorry, repeat the last. We're ready for air behind that. Copy that. Do you see any leaks coming from? No, no bubbles. All right, can you do a jostle test, please? Uh, the device is not moving. That's that's great. All right, um, what we're going to do next is I want you to go ahead and take the white device. And with the white device, I would like you to find the smallest and the most jagged hole. Smallest and most jagged hole. Copy that. Also, for those divers that are presently trying to remove the device, there is super glue on the ends, so the toggle bolt will not come off fully. You're going to have to 
yeah, do exactly what was just done there and, and close it. Carry on. <laughs> All right, small is most jagged. Yes. Also, can you please confirm to me that the toggle bolt is in the closed position? Toggle bolt is in closed position. Copy that. Carry on. All right, I will go with uh, hole number five here. All right, I will leave the devices attached. All right, continue ratcheting, please. Ratcheting, continuing. How difficult is it to reach right now in your position? Uh, not difficult at all. Yeah, I definitely think uh, longer handles um, so that when I'm gripping the tool, I don't have the opportunity to have it slip. Copy that. What part is slipping? Not that it's slipping, it's that my gloves are pretty big. And um, so sometimes these uh the handles themselves are too small so that's not that it's slipping it's just that they're uh it's too small for my gloves and uh, if i was doing this on a mission the thought of uh having something too small and that i might um not fully uh engage my grip and having it fall off um then uh that would be kind of a concern to me Thank you. Do you feel significantly more tired than when you began after operating this tool? Negative. While I don't feel tired and my wrist doesn't feel tired, uh, I think this motion and the glove over an extended period of time would be would be uh, pretty difficult. And when working in the full suit, I think that my answer might be different um, and that there would be some right. fatigue. It looks like it is tightened fully. Is it still moving the line on the on the top? Uh, no, I think it's done. All right. Um, go ahead and twist just one turn. I think we saw you do one full rotation. All right, one turn. All right, can we detach that device from the sealer and go ahead and add air behind it? For that. It is not loose. Are you seeing any leaks? I, uh, I see no leak device. Awesome. Now we're going to try and cause some leaks. So can you please go ahead and reattach the applicator to the sealer and tighten it two more turns? Copy that. Two more turns. One. Two. Two turns complete. Right. Um, let's continue ratcheting. Uh, do three more turns, please. Copy that. Three turns. 
Go ahead and apply pressurized air behind there again, please. Copy that, it work. One last thing, while air is behind there, go ahead and retach the handle and wiggle the device. While the, while the air... Correct, so we can check for leaks. Copy that. So we're going to have air behind it. I will wiggle it and check for leaks. Do you see any bubbles coming out? I do not. No bubbles coming out. Copy that.